For thousands of years, poisons and their study, that is toxicology, has been woven into the rich fabric of the human experience. Homer and Aristotle described the poison arrow. Socrates was executed with poison hemlock. Cleopatra used an African cobra to commit suicide. Lead poisoning may have helped bring down the Roman Empire. Marilyn Monroe, Elvis Presley, and actor Heath Ledger all fatally overdosed on prescription medication. Alas, till today, millions of cases of acute poisoning occur each year. But careful management of respiratory failure, hypotension, seizures, and thermoregulatory disturbances has resulted in improved survival of patients who reach the hospital alive. Now, toxins enter our body through different ways. Let's just start making notes with me. They'll help you in preparing exams, for sure. Anyways, we were talking about the toxins entering in our body. Well, they can be inhaled, encephalated, orally ingested, injected, and absorbed dermally. And once in the body, they may target our central nervous system, lungs, kidney, heart, liver, blood, and even intricate acid base and electrolyte balance of the body. Now, which drugs do you think will be the common cause of death by poisoning? To your surprise, paracetamol or acetaminophen, the most commonly used analgesic, is at the top of the list. While other most common drugs causing death by self-poisoning are tricyclic antidepressants and are coproximal, which contains paracetamol and a mild analgesic dextropropoxifene. However, the most common cause of fatal self-poisoning, especially in men, is carbon monoxide originating from a car exhaust. Well, alcohol is also taken in about 50% of incidents. Most cases of intentional self-poisoning are cries for help or parasuicide, but more than 3,000 people a year successfully kill themselves by poisoning. Well, accidental self-poisoning occurs mainly in young children under five years and usually involves medicines or household chemicals like bleach left within reach. Though even with a serious exposure, poisoning is rarely fatal if the victim receives prompt medical attention and a good supportive care. And once in hospital, the mortality of self-poisoners is less than 1%. So that was a brief introduction to poisoning, an interesting topic though. Next, we're going to discuss how will you manage a patient presented in emergency with the case of poisoning. So stick around 